voted against. Jane Hunt. Thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. Uh, I really welcome this, it's this strategy. This is fantastic news for Loughborough. May I take this opportunity, first of all, to thank Leicestershire Police with the work that they've done over the last couple of years with Operation Lionheart. And hopefully this will help get, get us to phase two of Operation Lionheart to go further and faster. So, for example, one of the things that happened then was that uh, the police came in, arrested somebody for drug dealing. There was a closure order operated by the council and everybody came out on their balconies and clapped and cheered the people who were doing it. It was fantastic, really amazing. So, first ask is please, can I have phase two? Um, and then secondly, in terms of voluntary groups, I'm wondering what we're planning on doing to work with voluntary groups such as the Carpenters Arms and Exario Trust uh, to really get rehabilitation going. Well, Mr Deputy Speaker, I'm very pleased that the Honourable Lady is, is delighted by the actions of her local police force. I know that Leicestershire Police are working hard on, on drugs in her constituency and elsewhere. And of course, they form a, a critical part of the team effort, if you like, not least because of the transport links. Many drugs gangs transit through Leicestershire on their way to other areas from those big exporting uh, cities. So I'm very pleased. Um, as far as the local structure is concerned, uh, we would urge um, uh, those organisations, councils largely, who are leading on the rehabilitation effort to make sure that they are tying in some of those really valuable third sector organisations who have enormous experience and are thirsting uh, to come along and help, very often um, uh, from their own sense of, of commitment and, and doing good in their community. And I'm sure that her local uh, health leaders on this programme will involve the organisation she referenced. Morris. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Clearly, the, the cost to individuals, the community,